Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back in episode 4 of my Empyreon Ascension Unchained Let's Play series. Back here in the cave, if you watch the first couple, you'll you'll recognize this little situation I got going on here. Uh, a little bit different since the last series, I did do a couple things. Number one, as you can see, I added a furnace. Uh, that was intentional. I actually had to in order to make the weapons that I bought the kits for. Uh, number two, I did fly around and do some leveling, so I think I got myself up to 18. Yeah, I just hit some rocks and did some exploration. The other thing I did is I went back up to the Polaris area, and there's two things I found. So, um, the solar power plant, actually there's two power plants, I must have missed that, and the waste processing, ironically enough, the waste processing plant actually buys deconstructors. The solar power plant was buying solar panels. So I have deconstructors and solar panels queued up. Um, deconstructors were like 20,000 a piece. Yeah, the market price average is 20k. Solar panels were 1500 each, and I thought both of them were fairly reasonable in terms of. The resources that I have available that I could easily just make a, a ton of them. Um, like I said, I made the furnace because when I went to make the pulse, rif pulse rifles, I think it was, it required iron ingots. Uh, titanium ingots, sorry, titanium ingots. And I didn't have any titanium ingots, I just had the plates. Um, I didn't want to fly somewhere to get the titanium, so I just made that. The other thing I did is I did do some upgrades to minor Buffalo Bill. I swapped out the drills, mechanicals for lasers, so it's got eight laser drills on it, and I added that critical advanced small generator that's required in order to operate those extra drills. Otherwise, I'd blow up the generators. With that shield generator, honestly, this is pretty good. It's got four minigun turrets and then four... four uh, uh, Gatling cannons, so quite the firepower, good enough for early game stuff that you'll see on the starter planet for now. For now, what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for these deconstructors and whatnot to get finished. As soon as they are, I am going to be flying directly back up to Polaris territory, to the power plant, to the waste processing facility, and then I'm going to do a, go do some exploration and look for Look for some POIs. The other thing I did do is, like I said, I, I made some weapons. So I made a guided rocket launcher, a minigun, advanced pulse rifle, a combat shotgun. So quite the load out there. And then I also made a bunch of ammo. Actually, I need to get rid of this. So you can see all these minigun rounds, these rifle rounds. Um, reorganizing things a bit. I want to keep this. I don't have health stuff, so I'm going to try to find a trader up there that, that sells some health-related stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. For now, I'm getting rid of a lot of this stuff. I'm going to put it in Buffalo Bill, in the ship itself. And I also did a lot of this stuff while uh, between episodes, just moved a bunch of stuff around, got ready for, got ready for this episode. But as soon as I saw what they were buying, uh, that was a good thing. And then I also the sanctuary is up there, and I didn't I didn't look at it too closely earlier, but the sanctuary is a is a pretty normal trading center. Um, I think most people have seen it. It's kind of got the three traders off in the corner, and then it's got another guy off into the side. So I popped my head into there really quick. And uh, I think we may be able to make some money. So I'm going to go do some selling over here at the power plant waste processing. Pop into the sanctuary. See what I can find. See if everything's still there. See if I can do some trading from within that center to make some good coin. And then head on. Hopefully buy some health stuff too. I think in the sanctuary there are vendors that sell health related stuff like bandages and antibiotic ointment, um, 
different med packs. The Eva booster I took off so I can get the extra defense. And this is getting close to being done. Yeah, I'm glad I have all the resources that I do. Looks like copper is running low, which isn't surprising. Yeah, and this I've got a ton of carbon substrate already made. Cool. Alright, I'm going to let this process. That's where I'm at. Uh, as soon as this is all done, I'll be right back and we'll head up to the traders. Alright, I'm back. Got everything made, got it loaded up. I found out that the deconstructors are very heavy, so I can't fit all four of them into the ship. Uh, I will be overweight, but I can fit all 30 solar panels. So, thought that was the best use of what I had. There is an interceptor close by, but at this point... I don't really even care. I am just going to go out and, uh, yep. As soon as I get out, I just go up and around into the north. Oh, shoot. Let's see, where do I want to go here? <laughs> All right, I need to probably get some more elevation. I wasn't paying attention there. Well, that's what happens, fellas. You're not paying attention. You crash into trees and tumble. I need to take a look at one of these, band these abandoned houses, but first I am gonna get up there. They're screaming at me. I wanna run one, I'll show you what they are. They're not too bad. There are guys there, hint, hint. They're not just only abandoned houses. Um, after the end of last stream, I did it, I did when I was crossing through, hit these two treasures, I found those. That was some more coins, so that was pretty cool. Got some more gold coins. Um, ooh, here's an abandoned house. Maybe I'll hit that one as soon as I sell this stuff. I do want to be careful to make sure... Oh, here's a... Mini gun, mini gun. I gotta be careful on this one. Make sure I don't accidentally shoot a Polaris building. Okay, uh, no, I want to be over to the power plant. Where am I at here? I want to go to the north. Waste processing. Oof. This is a heavy ship. You, sir, wanted solar panels. And I am going to sell you 30 of them. You take a lot more, so, yeah. It's a good start. And... I'm going to head back over here. No, it was up here. Pretty sure it was up here. It's this guy, I think. No, this guy. Yes. Kaboom! There we go, 134k. That's that's a good yield. That's a good yield right there. Okay. Where the heck am I parked? Okay this. Alright, 
Um, sanctuary is next. Yeah, we're gonna head to the sanctuary. We're gonna watch that patrol vessel. Make sure he doesn't do anything funny. Okay. In either case, I'm gonna take this and land it right down here anyway. Turn that off for now. Okay. Yeah, so this is the one. Let me take a look. I can buy a large upgrade kit from you for 60k. Sell here for 71. So, bye bye. Sell, sell. Yep, I just made some coin there. Cool. Bye bye. So I can do two at a time. Uh, probably be able to do three at a time next time. Yep. And I have 57k left over. Look at that, buying three of them. Okay, I'm going to do this for a little bit, and then I will be right back. All right, I am back. I completely bought out all of his large upgrade kits. I got the last purchase on me. I am going to keep some of those for myself. I'm keep, yeah, 20. Oh, 20 sounds good. Those last 108 I'm going to sell. And I just made 10.8 million credits off of the sanctuary. Now, Footman Rado's patrol vessel. Okay, time to find medical. I'm certain medical is in one of these. It's not that one. Not in here. Do need to watch at Rado's patrol vessel because patrol. Oh, it's right there with the big medical symbol. It's usually a good place to look. Where's the trader? Is it you? Bandages. Health packs. Antibiotics. Yup, we're just going to buy those. Anti-radiation. I don't get that very often. Antibiotic, antitoxic, antiparasite. Yep, yep. Anti radiation, even though I never get radiation. What's left? That's everything. Cool. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, my friends. 10 million credits, and I just loaded up on everything he had. Bought him out. Bought him out. What else we got? Actually, I'm going to do something. What does he have? Nothing. What does he have? Auto miners. He has 198 of the... Oh, he has three ingots. Well, I don't care. Well, you know, might as well, might as well take it. I need a human crew. Reinforced medium, yes. There's an armor locker here, I believe. Well, either way, I have one on. 
on my ship. I don't think I can put four of them on, though. Oh, it is. Four. Does that get me up to? That's good. 915. I don't think I need that EVA booster then. Negative 16 degrees, 24 radiation, reinforced medium. Yeah, that's going to do just fine. All right, what else can I buy here? I'm not going to buy any ore. I don't think there's anything else I really want to buy. The reason why I wanted to buy the human crew is because I am going to bring in Zeus, which I think I mentioned in a different stream. Here it is. One human crew. Oh, I need an advanced upgrade kit. That's really, that's really cheap. Oh, you know what? Earlier I was testing this. If you buy it, I see it resells for the same amount. You know, I'm just going to buy like, I can't buy 200. I'm going to buy like 50 of them. So that's a good price. The interceptor comes. Uh, I don't have night vision goggles. So I'm going to buy those really quick. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to pay 141k for the small upgrade kits. And I'm not going to pay 92k for them here, so. There was the noise. There were no guns shooting. The abandoned house. Is it gonna? It should trigger as I approach it. Which? Yeah, that's fine. It's turning around, so that's good. Okay. My biggest worry on this planet are those stupid patrol vessels. Okay, so we got the yellow trigger by the house. We got the yellow icon. See that yellow flag? So I'm going to set this ship right here. What is this? If you know PRN, you know something's going to happen, so keep your eyes open. Oh. Alright. Stop shooting all my guys. Legacy infected one. Abomination. Okay. I should have shut that off. That was it? was it. Did my guy? Did my thing kill everything that fast? 
Yeah, my ship killed the other stuff. There's an abomination. It was only two guys, I think. But hey, I got progenitor tech fragments out of it. So that's that's the cool thing with these quests is you get progenitor tech fragments out of doing them. Now, I don't know what to do with it. I'm really confused what to do with this. So I'm going to get out a survival tool and see if... Yeah, that's not doing anything. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'll have to ask. This has to do with fishing, I'm sure. It's probably bait or something. I'm going to head up here. Make sure there's nothing I missed, but I'm pretty sure this house is just empty. I think it's random how many guys show up, so I only got two that time, and my ship killed them both, so that was kind of uneventful. But hey, technology fragments, right? Okay, back to the ship. Iron survey, which I don't care about. There was a pink icon that I ran into when I was coming down this way. I feel like it was over here somewhere. At least I thought there was. I'm gonna lower that a little bit. Ooh, Jack Sparrow's house. That's a good one. I'm gonna eat really quick. Reload. I don't know that I've seen those patrol vessels come over this far. This one I found... The best way to go about it is just to charge it and just land on the pad in the front. I got a shield, so... to get real hairy real fast. weapon there.
That was a straight between the eyes headshot. Look at all this carnage. I'll save that for later. There's way better loot in here. Come on, reload. There's guys up there too. He's mad. You ain't got no chance against me. That side looks like it's clear. Nope, there's still some guys up there. Really hoping I get an energy pulse rifle out of this POI. That is by far my favorite weapon. good okay a lot of action lots of killing sorry not a lot of talking but it's the way it works when it gets crazy busy in here okay I think this was clear I don't think there's anything over here and there might be a guy or something on this side Forgot about that. Okay, at least I don't have dermal burn yet. Okay. Uh, link up to Buffalo Bill. Let's get some loot. Alright, the noises you're hearing, if you're hearing the guys grumbling, I know what it is. Um, there are some guys that just are not moving on the upper level, and I'll get those here pretty shortly. Advanced multi-booster, that's big. These guys. That side as well. Still good on the patrol vessels. Okay, 
That's all I'm going to do in the fridges. I'm not going to touch anything else in the fridges. What is this got? Uh, throw that on me. Okay. I should be careful. I've seen Talon coming up these before. See, they're down here. in here really quick. A detox kit, a poisonous. What do I got? What do I got? You've been poisoned. Poisonous bite. There it is. Okay. Anything else down here? Oh sh! Well, well, it's a good thing I went down the one that I did. check down this side yeah I think that clears out these guys and then there's a few guys over here cannot access You know what I should do is I'm not going to go through there because that's the end of it. I could go through there. I could beat the POI. Uh, and I could destroy the core. But then I'd miss the upper levels. And I'm going to go to the, do the upper levels. not a smart use of a rocket launcher. Alright, let me get my journal. There. Okay. Reload some weapons. See if they're coming. Should have used the rocket launcher from the start. Truth be told.
yeah, lots of guys dead here. Rocket launcher did its job. Nothing either way. Close that, reload. Still a guy in here? Oh, I see. They're back here. Alright, wasn't expecting all that. All things considered, not bad. Oh, that looked like a good weapon. I wasn't expecting all those guys to come rushing out. If I if I known they were all in there, I would have done that a little bit differently. Xerox Combat Rifle. 79, 600 RPM. I don't know, I think my weapon's better. I guess I'm going to start throwing stuff in the storage bag. Good loot so far, though. Good loot so far. Uh, I'm going to switch this over to the storage pack. Lock that. Oh, there's a guy there yet. That's it for this room. No epic weapons yet. Come on. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give that was good. Still no epic weapons. Alright. Next level. Level 2. Yep, that's how we're going to do that. I should probably just use that, you know, combat shotgun that I have. Shot. It's like he's shooting me before I even round the corner. This is a big loot room. Uh, all these containers. It's really just res it's resources is what it is. Ingots and stuff. Uh, which is really cool. Then the top. This is... This is the level. I think I could take out a couple spawners. Oh shit. <laughs>
have destroyed some of the spawners. Come on, reload. Is that it? That might be Jack Sparrow's house. Whoa. Gosh, this makes me nervous. Shotguns destroy him. Okay, now I feel better. Loot us, loot all these guys. There's actually some good upgrade kits in here. And uh medical packs. Okay. Ultra rare laser minigun. Uh, I don't have the weapons. Apple C Brews. Nice. Optronic Bridges. Guided Rocket. Oh, shit. Actually. That's funny. It's Jack Sparrow's house shot the Xerox drone. Turn his thruster back off. Okay, I was nervous there for a second. Gee, why do I have their survival tool here? Railgun, laser minigun, some auto miner cores. Go to Buffalo Bill. I'm pretty sure there's a fridge. All right, that's the top level. The roof are the turrets. The base turrets. Don't stick your head up there. Until you do the bottom. Let me do a reload on here. You know, the one thing I don't like about the regular minigun is it has just a shit ton of recoil. It's really hard to sometimes control. So I'm excited to get the laser minigun. Alright, let me get my rifle out. That's right, I already cleared out some of that room. I'm not even going to bother with the health pack. Um... Not sure if something's spawning in here or not, so flip that switch and see nothing. Gosh, you know, and I keep looking at this doorway because one time I went through that door and then three armored gigas spawned. And then the one time I went through this door it was much easier. I don't think the Gigas spawned. Mm. 
I was going to send out my drone, but whatever. Kind of scared me. Wasn't expecting it, not going to lie. You do that again. I was ready that time. I was quick on the draw. Quick on the draw. Other faction, but you can open the other one. Is that it? Face the Gigas. Looks like I'm going to have to face the Gigas. So, the one time I did this, I beat that guy. I came into this room and the core blew. Another time I beat this, I went through the other doors, didn't do this room, I think the core blew. Where are you, Gigas? Alright, I'm gonna do this. Oh. Maybe that's what it needed was another one of those to spawn. There he is. There they are. Well, that's not so bad when you come with a rocket launcher. Anyone else would like to spawn? Anyone else? Going once. Going twice. Pretty sure there's a timer. Countdown.
guys in the core blow and oh no it's glitched uh, if it doesn't blow I'm gonna god mode and blow it myself because that's how I roll that is how I roll Alright, I'm going to take another pass through this building, just to make sure there wasn't something I missed. Yeah, I went, there is no, there's nothing in here. Yep, there's nothing here. Looking for switches and there's none. First two times I ran that POI, the core blew. This time it did not. This is the nice thing about playing in single player. Alright, I'll just shoot the core. There we go. House done. I do want to take a look to make sure I didn't miss something on the roof. I don't think there's anything on the roof. I've been up there before. I've done the same strategy before. Got lights up here. Yeah, there's no switch. That, my friends, is Jack Sparrow's house. However, however, I am going to start salvaging this guy. Because there is going to be some good loot in this POI. I think there's some loot buried in it. back inside yeah I think the floor of this thing underneath is just completely covered in loot oh yeah plus all these loot boxes uh, I am about 55 minutes into this into this video I have not seen this room before hence why my Voice just paused. Interesting. Okay. Uh, 55 minutes left. I got a lot of loot containers to pick up to go through. Uh, I'm not going to go through that right here. What I am going to do, head down to the bottom level. I'm going to start digging through the foundation so you can kind of show what you got to do on this POI. Because there's a lot of loot buried underneath it. There's the floor. Okay, there's... So what I would recommend doing is finding... See, this is the this is the outside. Again, keep checking. Radar. That's your outside walls. I think all the loot itself is underneath the actual... Um, oh, here's the... The actual uh, POI itself versus this is like the parking pad right now that I'm underneath. Yeah, see, this is the parking. There's some loot containers. Yeah, these are all basic ones. They're nothing, uh, they're not the special ones, not the. Super rare ones, but there's a lot of loot in here. Uh, 
player. However, there are uh, the rare ones down here. I'm just going to do that. We will find a couple ultra rares. Uh, this is what I want to go after when I'm down here. Are these types of... Here. Here. Ultra rare. Guided rocket launcher. Yes. Guess it's going in the ammunition controller. Lots of optronics. That's it, outside. So you basically want to zigzag this entire, entire base. So you'll find stuff like this. Some platinum. More platinum. Outside. And what I was finding works best. I you probably don't need to go down this way, but you literally grid the entire thing. So I went this way, so I'm going to go right here. And then I'm probably going to do, we'll see. If all these rooms go up to that wall, this is the only one I'll do. But some of them don't. Like here. Alright, I'm going to keep going and keep doing the grid. Okay, I think this is like the end. Yep, the core. There's nothing there. Uh, one more, I'm going to do one more pass this way. I feel like I'm going right on a right on a wall right now. But either way, I'd rather do too many of these than not enough. Okay, I'm gonna do no, another pass through here. Sorry if this is really jerky as you're watching it. What I'm just doing is glancing back and forth, just to see if there's any loot containers worth grabbing. And then I check to see where those patrol vessels are. And they're still hanging out in that starter area. I actually don't think they're going to come near me. Okay. Same thing. I'm just going to pass back and forth. Oh, here we go. Plasma rifle. x -Corp plasma rifle. Advanced upgrade kits. Super shotgun. Lots of people like the super shotgun. Blow your enemies face off in one shot because it shoots two at a time, I think. Keep going. Still have not found my favorite, the energy energy pulse rifle. Hoping to. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, the ammo. Kind of got a little sidetracked there, but... Alright, gonna take that. Keep doing my grid. Here we go. These are just the rare ones. Not expecting any epic weapons in them. More platinum, though. Hey, there's my 50 ingots. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got some tool turrets. Tool turrets that happen to be placeable on HV and SV. Just as an FYI. Which is pretty freaking cool in and of itself. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job doing the grid. 
That's outside. I'm going to head back this way. I don't think there's any value in crossing, but gosh, maybe there is. Make sure I came down all these paths. I didn't miss anything. Pretty sure I got it all. Pretty sure I got it all, though. This is what you got to do on this POI, though. This is where all the good stuff is after you core it. Can't wait to get me some advanced heavy armor so I can just sprint for days. That'll be the next POI, hopefully. Hopefully the next POI. this cannon obsolete <laughs> cannon turret obsolete okay funny stuff okay well from here i am just going to go through the rest and go through these boxes my preferred way of going through them honestly is see what kind of fuel that's a good amount of fuel 397 of those my preferred way of going through them is just to zap them and then pick up the remnants in the box but hey to each their own right so anyway that i think is going to do it for episode four i'm going to keep salvaging away um since this is single player i got all the time in the world all the time that i want but i'm going to go through this pretty quickly try to pick everything up and then uh get back to base and get it all sorted but that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining, everyone. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Take care. I hope to see you next time. Thanks, everyone.